Yeah, my name is Jack. Sometimes people call me Cleo, depending on who I am at any given moment. And a lot of people now are calling me Old Man Vape. So I thought I'd take this time to tell you, tell you a little bit about myself, my smoking experience. I was about 12 when I started smoking tobacco. That was back in, shoot, 64. I mean, I'm an old man. I'm 61 years old. Maybe that's why they call me old man vape. I don't know. But at any rate, um, back then cigarettes were like 30 cents, 50 cents, something like that. I think it was probably like 35, 50 cents, something like that. Um, and anybody could buy them. I mean, if you could look up over the counter, you could buy them. It was kind of like uh, it was, you know, acceptable, you know. I mean, commercial said it was okay. I mean, and uh, just about everybody smoked, you know. So I, I developed a pretty good habit over the years. I was probably down with two to three packs a day, hacking my lungs out and this and that. Well, when I was about... 57 or so, I use that Chanex stuff and try to get off of cigarettes. And you know what? I got addicted to nicotine lodges. It's, oh, yes. And, and they're expensive, you know, $35, $40 a week on nicotine lodges. You know, what the hell is that all about? I just couldn't get away from the nicotine. And, and, and I still can't, really. Um, and then a couple years later, I had a cigarette. Stupidest thing I ever did. And next thing you know, I'm smoking a pack and a half a day. And you might say, hey, he's down from three packs a day to a pack and a half a day. No, I was still addicted to nicotine lodgences. So here I am sucking on these nicotine lodgences and smoking cigarettes and spending you know, $60, $70 a week on tobacco and nicotine products, you know, and and my girlfriend's complaint, oh, the smell is terrible. I don't want you smoking in the house. I don't, want, oh, the car smells like an ashtray, you know, and just complaining away. Well, we got a couple of dogs and I love these dogs, okay? And we were at the dog park one day and this girl was walking around with her dog and we developed a conversation, her and my girlfriend, and she pulls out this long skinny thing. And it was a, uh, it was a, you know, a, a vape battery with a, with a tank on it. And she's vaping this stuff. And I'm thinking, wow, the neat ways they think about smoking pot these days, you know, and I'm thinking she's smoking pot until I smell and I go, that's not any pot that I smell. And I finally asked her, what are you smoking in that? And she goes, well, I quit smoking tobacco and I started doing a thing called vaping. And then she gave me a little education there and, and told me where to go. And so I went to a vape store and they set me up. I mean, uh, it's a year ago this month. Uh, I went into that vape shop and they set me up for about 25 bucks, you know, vape pen, juice, and uh, a couple of those little tanks. And I was ready to go. I got in my car and I'm vaping on it. And I only smoked a couple of cigarettes out of this pack of cigarettes. And I, you know, threw them down on the, on the dash and said, well, you know, I'm going to slowly get into this. And you know what? I have not smoked a cigarette since then. In fact, my girlfriend gave my pack of cigarettes to her sister, which was okay. All right. I mean, that's just fine with me. And uh, I haven't had a cigarette since. Haven't had a need. And two days later, I'm off of the lodgings. Okay. So all I'm doing is vaping now. I started out at 18 megs and I'm down to six, you know, because I'm dripping now and, mm. you know, and that makes a difference. And, you know, my vape experience has been, you know, um, 
after vaping with those little ones, I got a SVD and, uh, and a, um, one of those eye clear tanks. And that was, oh, that was the bomb. Okay. Uh, then Nautilus came out with their glass tank and I got a Nautilus tank. In fact, I got two of them to have two different vapes in. And, uh, and that was great, you know. And I tell people, oh, I'm only in it for the flavor. I don't need this big clouds, you know. Dripping is too big of a hassle. You know, it kind of intimidated me, you know, having to build coils and stuff like that. I went into this one vape shop to get some juice and they had some premium juice there. And, uh, and it tasted really good. But when you tested their juices out, it was on a drip. You know, it was, a, they would make the coil right there, put it on a little battery and with an RDA and you, you know, you tested it that way. And oh my God, the difference. And I really loved it. Well, one day I was at this other vape shop, you know, just kind of talking about mods and this and that. And I got this little mod and, you know, which is, it was terrible. It didn't never work right. You know, you had to adjust it, adjust it, which is fine. You know, for a first mod, it was okay. It was very, very inexpensive. And I got one of those, I go, whatever you call it. And, uh, uh, this guy there sh showed me how to build coils. You know, he didn't even work there. Just a guy that came in. This community is wonderful. Well, long story short, my girlfriend loves to knit and, uh, and I build coils. And I have a fun time building coils. I just got this Segeli and I'm trying out this... Uh, Ganger sub ohm. I also have a uh, Atlantis sub ohm, and they're both great. This holds a little more juice. And in my own personal opinion, uh, uh, this is a little nicer and it's a little more versatile. But I love both of them. And uh, I'll tell you the truth. Now, I'm not a cloud chaser, you know. My lungs are too old. I beat the hell out of these lungs. I've done some things in my life that no man should ever do to his body, you know. But I, I got 15 years clean and I'm sober and life is wonderful now. But I can blow some clouds in this. I mean, I can do it. And what I've been thinking of, guys, there should be like a a cloud contest but it, it should be done in like like they do in you know boxing they have weight divisions well they should have age divisions and because these young 20 year olds 22 they got the lung capacity of i don't know i mean and they can do things that you know would make me cough all day long um um but if we and there's there's this guy named Bill in Arkansas, and he does these uh, juice reviews just like I do. And uh, uh, but this guy's great, you know, and he's probably around right around my age. I'd say he's in his 60s. And, you know, we could have like a senior cloud contest. And and by the way, you vape shop owners, you probably need to start having senior discounts get older generation in here you know by doing this you know i got to think outside of the box i got to do new things you know as old people get stuck in our ways you know and it takes a, a lot to prove that the way we're doing things is not the right way and this vaping experience <laughs> every day i find out i'm i could do something better I can do so, and it's done wonders for me. My girl and I are, uh, have our own little hobbies together, and she goes, oh, this is so much better than smoking. Oh, it smells good in the house. Oh, you can vape in the car, da, da, da. Oh, don't blow it in my face. And sometimes I do, you know, get a little giggle, and she just gets upset, you know. But uh, this guy, Bill, he does these 
reviews that are wonderful and, and we friended each other on uh, Facebook and you know someday I love Arkansas I've been all over Arkansas hot springs I tore up hot springs you know looking for crystals being the old hippie guy and all that but Wachita Lake and all those places yeah Arkansas is a beautiful state and I wouldn't mind going up there maybe visiting with Bill and if Bill ever comes up to Phoenix Arizona visit with him. One thing I wanted to tell you before I, I go, I'm going to be doing a juice uh, review here in just a little bit, another video probably today. And uh, these people that I, that I do these reviews for, it's called Habibi Vape Shop, 1907 West Thunderbird, Phoenix, Arizona. And if you ever want an experience I mean go in there this guy is great not only that the people he has working for him are great people too a guy named uh, Phil he's the uh, store manager and there's a guy named Dave there and they're both dedicated to uh, vaping and I guess he has some rule that you have to be nice and helpful you know because these guys are I mean, they'll tear it down for you. They'll build coils for you. You know, I don't even think they charge you for building coils for you. They just want you to get involved. And the whole attitude there um, is so positive, you know. And prices are, I mean, they're phenomenal. I mean, they're good prices. This guy's not trying to gouge you and make you a million dollars and all that and he's always adding on some sort of discount or freebie for you i mean he's just a really good guy this guy's named brian brasha and uh, that's his real name brasha but since he's been in the united states people call him brian because you know they have trouble with brasha and you know i like brasha so anyway this guy is wonderful and he's a humanitarian I mean, he cares about people. He talks to you, he finds out what you like and what's good and this and that. And if he doesn't have it, he'll order it for you. So if you get a chance, stop by Habibi Vape Shop. They're on 1907 West Thunderbird. And uh, that's Phoenix, Arizona. Or friend them on Facebook, get to know them, you know. And if you got some good products, if you got some good juices, talk to them. Maybe he'll sell them for you. I mean, this guy is is great. Anyway, with all of that said, this is Jack, sometimes known as Cleo. I ain't anything special. All right, I just want to make that clear. I uh, I love this. Uh, community in vaping. I want to get more people involved in vaping. Um, I'm just a normal guy. I'm not, you know, opinionated anymore. I'm not uh, telling you that I am the expert and you're not, you know, none of that kind of stuff. I just say what I feel. I'm, I'm just the common guy, you know. I hear all these other, um, you know, reviews and all that and these guys got all these statistics and saying this and saying that you know and they speak with such authority they yell and scream they got you know one guy wants you to suck on his mod and you know all of that stuff trippers i mean i like that guy he's crazy but uh i'm just a common guy you know and i'm not the expert i'm just like you okay i want the best fake the best deal and I want more than anything that camaraderie that we've developed and with that I'll let you go God has bless you and may the world spin all around you thank you very much